Hi, my name is Jay DeGrace. I work for Mayor Sullivan in the city of Brockton, and I'm here today interviewing Mr. Harry Allen. Um, the track at the Brockton High School is named after Mr. Harry Allen, and we're here today to talk about some of his contributions to the city of Brockton. So uh, without further ado, Mr. Allen, why don't we uh, talk to you a little bit about um, yourself and uh, what you've contributed to the city? Well, thank you. Thank you for having me, being interested. I, I love the city. My family loved the city, and uh, I enjoyed being a teacher, coach, principal uh, at the city, and it was a, a wonderful time, a wonderful experience. Met some great people, some great, when I was coaching, met some great kids that uh, hopefully are all doing well, you know, because of the experience of all of it. You know, and that's, uh, I've always remembered all of them. Every now and then I hear from one or two of them, but, uh, it was it was a great time, you know. So it was a, it was it was fun, cross country, track, indoor, outdoor. Some people don't get an opportunity to experience all of those things. Fortunately for me, I did, and I was blessed with the fact that a lot of kids who came along had such great talent. And my job as any coach was to see if you could bring that out and and bring it together enough so that they can be successful. That's great. That's great to hear. And yeah, so I, I see I have in my notes here um, that you had started your first year uh, as track coach was in 1965. And um, I believe your team had a five and five dual meet record. And then the following summer, you had worked for the Brockton Parks and Recreation. And through that department, you created weekly races at I the did. DW. Is that true? Yes, it is. Yes. And, uh, and then the following year, it seems that your team won all the dual meets. Uh, you finished fourth at the mid-season Catholic Memorial Invite, um, which featured all the top teams, uh, but then went on to win the league championship, tied the state championship, and then traveled to UNH up in Durham, New Hampshire, and easily won the New England championship. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about that team and maybe some of the other, um, you know, great teams that come to mind uh, when, when you when it thinks about when you think about coaching at, at, uh, across cross country and track and field for Brockton? Well, that's great because one of the things is that many of those kids on those teams should never be forgotten, you know. Not only were they great, great athletes, as Adam Williams, for example, and Anthony, were great football players, you know, for Brockton. But they were talented, and the most important thing was that they listened. They did all the things that they were asked to do, and I took them, as you, everybody knows, to New Hampshire, to New York, because they were talented and because they were willing to do that stuff. And it was, it was a great opportunity for them to show their talent and abilities. And I love those kids a lot uh, because of that, you know. When I got back to Brockton, having been down at a small school where I won a, a class C or D cross country championship, that uh, they told me that uh, there were people said, well, it's nice to have you back in Brockton, but Brockton's not a track school. I said, really? Well, let, we'll find we'll out. We'll see about that, we'll right? Find, we'll find out. <laughs> and what I did was, I, when I started teaching, I went from classroom to classroom, told them who I was, that I was going to be back, and I was going to be the coach, and that uh, I wanted anyone and everyone that wanted to come out and try, and everything, that, and what the results of the rest of the story. That's beautiful. You yeah, know that is um that's great. I, you know from just the many people that have been able to be coached by you and and just work with you. You know it seems like, you know you have that indelible uh, mark on 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 all the the athletes that you coach. Um, it's I've also through my research found out that you uh, you love the beach, love the beach <laughs> and that yeah. you've been a beach coordinator down in Dennis yeah. for the past twenty years or for twenty years. Well, I don't know how long it was, but for a few years. It was almost 22. the same thing, training, training kids again. Right. You know, lifeguards and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then down here we have, a, I don't know if they still do it or not, but they had a life, lifeguard competition. So I was back into doing the same thing. Oh, nice. Coaching kids, getting preparation for the annual lifeguard competition. Awesome. And our kids always did well. That's that's really that's really cool and really special. I, I thought that that was really um cool when i was when i was researching you a little bit just some how much that spirit of coaching you know it doesn't go away you know my my dad's been a coach for for my whole life and then I, I i 
I, I love to see that. Um, so I see that you're also a member of the Massachusetts Track Coaches Hall of Fame as well as the Brockton High School Hall of Fame. Um, can you speak a little bit about what that means to you? Well, it means a lot because I think back of all the people because basically I started coaching. I had to go to a school down in Guyton because uh, I wanted to coach in, in Brockton High. Right. And they said that they didn't have any coaching jobs that uh, I said, really? I said, well, I ended up going down to Bristol Aggie and they didn't have any cross country track. They were too small to have track, but they, they wanted, wanted to have a cross country team. And I said, well, I can do that. And I, and I did it. I went out and talked to the same thing I always do. I went out and talked to the kids. I said, this is what I want to do. This is, the, this is what I'd like to have you do if you have any interest. And there were a couple of kids who said, I never have done that before. I don't know what it means. I will help you. I will teach you, you know, because that's what coaching is. We know about you have to be a good teacher to be a good coach. And I ended up three or four years later winning a class D cross country championship. Couldn't win track because the kids got out of school in April because they all went out, had part of their building at Bristol Aggie was to go out and in whatever field they were interested in, whether it was farming or agriculture or whatever. And, uh, but uh, they didn't even have a cross country team when I went there, but I, the director of the school allowed me to start it. I told them what it was all about. I got kids that come out and we ended up winning a, a class D championship. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. It's, it's just, you, you resolve, you know, and you're just, your, your drive to coach is just, is just special um you know it seems like uh ath athletics and, and that stuff is kind of runs in your family uh when i did a little bit of research on you i found out a little bit about your father oh that's great yeah yeah and, and his boxing prowess and and uh some of the great stories about him what, what are some of your best memories about your father i guess the best memories he when i got old enough to understand what was happening the only thing i knew about him was that uh, they started some boxing things at the old Brockton Arena, mm -hmm. and he came, they asked him to come back, and he said, you know, I'm, I'm over the hill and so forth, but they wanted to do it, and they asked him to come back and get on the card. And I remember, I thought I learned a lot from him because he, he was still in pretty good shape, but he was, he was no kid anymore, but he went back, and, and he... He got into that, and they had to do a thing called the boxer versus the wrestler. Mm -hmm. And he was the boxer, and they brought different people in. And uh, I don't know how much he enjoyed it, but he did it because he made a few dollars, which was important, and right. they capitalized on his name. Uh, and I, at least it gave me an opportunity to see him that I hadn't seen him when he was fighting when he was young. Because uh, I always missed it. I would like to have seen him because I have some scrapbooks of all his fights. Not all of them, but many of his fights. So, knew some of those people, and every now and then, the part I found really interesting about that was every now and then one of those people out of the scrapbooks would show up at our house. You know, they were Boston people primarily, mm -hmm. and, and because not only did they fight him, but they seemed to like him. Mm -hmm. And I always thought that was there's a lesson there someplace for the. Just because you compete against somebody doesn't mean you have to dislike them, mm -hmm. you know. But every now and then, somebody that I had read about or thought of one of the scrapbooks or whatever, would come knocking at the door. They happened to be in Brockton and they wanted to see if my father was still around. And in most cases, he was, and that was interesting. Actually, people don't realize that when Rocky Marciano started, he came to my father to ask him for advice about certain kinds of things. Really? And uh, my father spent a little time with him, not a lot, but a little time with him, which I thought was really gracious, you know? Yeah. So it was kind of special. Yeah, that's amazing. It seems like you have so many great memories about your father. That's that's amazing, you know, just that uh, tradition of boxing and, and just uh, athleticism in Brockton. And it seems like uh, that that gracious spirit has, has moved on to you. It seems a lot, like a lot of your athletes want to come back to you and, and, and you know, bring bring their successes to you and share them with you. And I think that speaks a lot to your character. And well, they were great kids. 
if they weren't great kids for the most part, they usually didn't last too long with me. <laughs> you know, because it was hard. Right. I there was, um, you know, I, I I was I loved coaching, and uh, but it was not easy being right. a, a, an athlete for me because there was no second place as far as I was concerned. Is that this is what we have to do. This is how we're going to do it. If you can't do it, or you're not interested, or you think you can slack off it, you can't stay here. Mm -hmm. You know. I hear and that. The, and the record speaks for itself. It, you know? it certainly I does. Some, I just had some great, great kids. You know. I, I've had a lot of success with them, but I couldn't have had it if they didn't have the talent. Right. You know. Right. And I hear that wholeheartedly. Um, Harry, if there's one thing that you want, you know, the the general public. For, you know, fellow Brocktonians and just anyone out there listening uh, that, that that you want them to know about Harry Allen and you know something that 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 you 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 wouldn't you'd want them to know about you uh, to live forever. What, what would it be? I guess that I really cared about those kids. That one real A team, I took them everywhere. I took them to New Hampshire. I took them to New York. I took them to Philadelphia or someplace else, and. Uh, because they were so good, I wanted to see if they we could win some places where they could get some attention, so they could maybe get a chance at a college call scholarship. And that turned out to be so for some of them. They didn't get to go to, to some of the big ones, but they got to go to college for free, which was really big for me. Important. Because they they had I thought they had earned that. You know, we took on anybody and everybody. I know, wherever they would. I read about an invitational one in track and field news or something. And I call up and say, can we get in to meet? And I would take them. I took them down to Philadelphia. I took them down to New York. And we beat just about it. We beat just about everybody, which was wonderful because those kids, I hope they still enjoy living with those memories. That's why I still have the team pictures here and some of them because not only were they great athletes, but they were great kids. That's wonderful to hear, and I've heard you say it, you know, and that's, it's, I, it's, it's just great to hear, and that's what you want from a coach, and from an educator, and from a leader, so, you know, it's wonderful to hear, and, and, and you know, that's why we found it so important to, uh, you know, for to come down and, and talk with you today, and then try to, you know, spread your, uh, spread your message, and show people, you know, why, why that track is named after Mr. Harry Allen here, so, thank you, Harry, I really appreciate it, thank you to your lovely wife for setting this up, and, and to, um, our mutual great friend John Booten uh -huh. as well for oh, setting yeah. this up. Um, yeah, a lot of times I couldn't have done things that, that I took the kids. She had to drive. I said I can't take these kids, be thinking about this stuff, and, and drive too. Mm -hmm. So she ended up driving us the, the team, relay, integral said, part, the right? Relay team because we beat just about anybody and everybody that there was. We right. Down in New York, Washington, mm -hmm. New, New, New Hampshire. And uh, that was a great experience for us. I, 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 I'm so happy to be able to hear these stories from you. I, I'm, I have goosebumps just hearing everything and being able to look at all these trophies. And so, again, Harry, I, I can't thank you enough. Seriously, thank you. Thank you for taking the time well, to Well, thank you for us. being interested in coming. And, you know, after a while, you begin to think nobody ever remembers that stuff. Hey, well, we'll remember you. We'll be remembered here forever. So. Uh, let's hope so. Yes, thank you. All thank right. you. So it's important, more so than me, those those kids that were involved in it they were a part of that whole thing. Because it you know, went four or five years, we never lost anything, cross country, indoor, outdoor. And uh, it's important for people to remember. Absolutely, that. that's yeah. history right there. That's Brockton history and, yes, and what we, uh, we will always remember it. And so thank you very much for taking the time to uh, meet with us. And uh, no, thank you for coming down. Thank you, have a good day.